everybody. This is Brian Hogue. Welcome to Chiller Chat. Now, Chiller Chat is a, it's, it's normally a, a talk show where I have a guest on the show, but tonight's going to be a little different, and I am going to be chatting with the viewers. This is uh, streamed live online on January 21st, and it will be featured on uh, Stream TV as a, as a regular feature episode uh, coming up this week. Or whatever <laughs> you know, it might be on other channels, uh, but it definitely will be on Stream TV this this Saturday. Um, let's see, da, 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 da. what is Chiller Chat? Chiller Chat is a uh, it's a talk show I started back in 2008 when I first started my very first horror host uh, program because at the time I was uh, I was actually listening to like Coast to Coast. And I was thinking, boy, it'd be kind of neat if I could combine that with this. And so Chiller Chat started out as a segment that was included within the program, like in between breaks of the movie. The same, you know, when Jack Shadow was delivering his, his dialogue and the other characters, you were also seeing little, like, three to five minute segments of Chiller Chat. And so that's how I came up with that. And then in 2000, 2017, Chiller Chat became its own its own program. So uh, you know, its own its own series on Stream TV. So that's how this all started. And I've had a lot of guests over the years. I've had Chill Billy or Bill Chilly Billy Cardell. Uh, who used to, of course, host Chiller Theater out of Pittsburgh. Uh, that was that was amazing to have him on the show. Uh, I've always been a big fan of Chiller Theater and of Bill Cardell growing up. Uh, I've had I've had other uh, I've had of course he played on he did a cameo on Night of the Living Dead, and I've had people from Night of the Living Dead on on the show as well. I've had uh, John Russo, who was co-writer of Night of the Living Dead. I've had uh, Russ Dreiner, who played Johnny, uh, the kind of the, uh, the jerk brother who gets his <laughs> in the cemetery at the beginning of the movie. Uh, I've had George Cassano, who played Sheriff McClellan in Night of the Living Dead on the program. I've had, um, uh, geez, I've had Jim Crutt, who was the helicopter zombie from Dawn of the Dead. I've had the mass superstar. He was like one of my favorite, absolute favorite wrestlers uh, when I was growing up. Uh, he was he came and was a guest on the show, and just over the years had uh, a lot of uh, a lot of really good guests on the on the program. So uh, let me kind of give you uh, real quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the old Chiller Chat intro to kind of give you an idea of what this is. There you have it. I wanted to kind of uh, highlight some of the guests I've had on over the years, and one of the, one of the ones I didn't mention was Tom Savini. Uh, that was a that was a big name that was on the the program, and Stan Gordon. If you're a paranormal investigator, which we've had plenty on the show over the over the years, uh, you know Stan Gordon. You've heard of him, a nationally known uh, paranormal investigator. Uh, actually, has some of his his books and. Uh, videos right here. Uh, he's a well-known author as well as investigator and uh, I've, I've been listening to some of his stuff for for years and years so it was kind of neat to have him on the program as well and um, just recently any creep show uh, fans out there just recently I had Phil Wilson on the program. Um, Phil 
was uh, he actually came up to the studio and joined me there, and we talked about uh, his work on on Creep Show. Not only the movies, the an he did he worked on the animated parts. Not only the movies, but the new series on Shutter. So there is that. Very impressive, and. He gave me a, uh, I actually have one of the animation cells right here that he gave me. This was his work, his artwork. He gave me that, and that is actually, that is actually from this right here. That is, uh, this is the actual cell from that scene right there. I think that's pretty cool. That. There it is, folks. I love stuff like this. Uh, I grew up as a fan of horror and science fiction. And um, let's see. Ava said, I'd like to see the clip with Sean, the more you know. Oh, <laughs> I don't have it loaded up here, but I'll have to show that one sometime. I will, uh, maybe this Saturday night for the pre show. And that's another thing. Uh, every Saturday night, you know, all things Chiller Night. You know, I've got Chiller Chat. I've got Chiller Night Theater, of course, uh, where I host that show as Jack Shadow. And of course, Ava joins me as Aura the Witch. And uh, our newest member is uh, Samantha Diener, who plays El Von Nock, the vampire. And I uh, can't say new, new, because she's been around for quite a while on the show off and on. But uh, Corpus says, that animation sells so awesome. Oh, thank you. I know. I love it. I love it. That is so cool. Um, but uh, one of the one of now a guest I have coming up next week on the twenty eighth, January twenty eighth, is Donald F. Glute. Now, Donald is a uh, he's he's. I've always thought, you know, boy, if I could get him on the show, I would just love it. He actually, when I was a kid, I actually this is the novelization of The Empire Strikes Back. And this is still the one that I had since, like, what, 1980? So, but he wrote this, the novelization. And, and that's just one of many things. I've read this thing, I don't know how many times as a kid. Uh, but he has done so much work for uh, writing for comic books. And he's a, he's a huge uh, horror movie fan. Uh, he actually just made his own... Uh, recent movie called Tales of Frankenstein. He's just a really old school horror fan. So I'm excited to have him on. He's going to be on here uh, next week. He's wrote many, many uh, stories also for animated shows over the years. He's going to be joining us from probably uh, from Burbank, California. He'll be calling in. So I'm really looking forward to that one. That's going to be pretty cool. Uh, Corpus says, hi, you Doc Dredd. Hey, Doc. He says I'm late again. Hi, Brian. Hey, dog. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Uh, but, again, I'm very excited about that. Uh, Donald uh, Glute is going to be on here next week, next Tuesday. I'm trying to do these live on Tuesdays and then uh, send them to the TV studio so that you can see them on Saturday nights. So, if this picks up, if this becomes a thing, you know, where 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 you guys like to do, you know, like this, then I'm, I'm probably going to just continue doing this like on Tuesdays. So, because I think that's the safest night to do it. I don't want to do it on Monday nights because, of course, I don't want to compete with wrestling. Of course, we, you know, we'd, we'd, we'd lose uh, Brad Beckwith, one of our, one of our uh, you know, head viewers. And, and, of course, we don't want to conflict with uh, Thursday nights because Thursday nights on the Chiller Night uh, Facebook group page, we have watch parties headed up by Corpus Christine. Uh, she picks the movies and she she uh, she hosts those as well. So do I have? Oh yeah, this Thursday. Now, why? If you're watching this on Stream TV, it's already Saturday night and you missed it. But uh, but if you're watching this right now live on Tuesday, you know Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, Jump on the uh, the Chiller Night Facebook group page, 
Chris, become a member. And every Thursday night at 8 p.m., Corpus Christine hosts a watch party for Chiller Night Facebook group page. So, hope to see you then. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you this because there's actually a lot of things going on that, that are uh, under kind of the Chiller Night umbrella. So, you know, there's a lot of things going on, and there have been for, for years, but a lot of people, you know, I'm trying to get the word out as well as I can. Let me put that website back up. Uh, I encourage you to check out the website as well. So, um, also, things that I'd like to talk about in upcoming shows is paranormal, UFOs. Bigfoot, the unknown, the unexplained, mysteries beyond. Uh, if you if you want to be a guest on Chiller Chat, if you have a, an experience you'd like to share with us and, and to the other viewers, uh, feel free. Uh, just contact me. You can go to chillernighttheater.com or you can contact me right here on Facebook. Either or. So, let's see. Doc says, Tales of Frankenstein looks very cool. Yeah, it looks really neat. Uh, Corpus has... Brad the announcer. <laughs> yeah, where is Brad? Oh, we're missing Brad. Uh, Corpus says, yes, Thursday night, chiller night features. Come hang out. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, if you, if you, you know, if you're not doing anything on Thursday nights, jump on Facebook. Join us for a watch party. So they're a lot of fun. And, of course, on Saturday nights, let me tell you what we do on Saturday nights here. As soon as... Uh, we have a uh, Chiller Night Live pre-show. Again, I'm telling you this in this Chiller Chat episode because the TV audience is different than my online audience. So I want everybody to be aware that there is stuff going on every week online on, on the Chiller Night Theater Facebook page and the Chiller Night Theater YouTube channel. Hop on there every Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and join us for the Chiller Night Live pre-show. That's where I will be on here uh, heavily interacting with viewers. We get a lot of viewers on, on those nights, and it's a lot of fun. I get a lot of topics thrown at me, <laughs> a lot of comments, a lot of questions, and, and as well as to each other, you know, so... Uh, just it's a kind of a neat little uh, chiller night community that likes to meet up uh, right before the hour preceding the uh, the um, the programming chiller night theater and, and chiller chat programs that play from nine until like three thirty in the morning. So Saturday nights, hope to see you there. Uh, Doc says congratulations on the Chop Block Roku channel, Brian. Oh, and and you as well, you as well. Yes, that's right. We are on the uh, Chop Block uh, TV Roku channel, so you can you can go on there. You can watch Docs. Doc, I got to get you on Chiller Chat, and you can talk about your uh, your reviews page. I'd like to do that. Maybe we can do that pretty soon. Um, but uh, you can go on there and watch Chiller Night Theater as well. It's on the Roku channel, Chop Block TV, and. Uh, Let's see, Ava says, I'd like to get a psychic. I'd like you to get a psychic. Oh, well, we could do that. We could meet up with probably quite a bit of people here uh, at the upcoming like paranormal uh, conferences, which is a good place to go and try to meet people and network who have uh, similar interests. Uh, so I, I, I'm sure we, we'll probably try our best to attend that one in uh, the upcoming one in Lindora, Pennsylvania, in Butler County. So, all right, Cor Corpus says, Doc as a guest, yes. I have you on here as well, Corpus. You can talk about Thursday nights and uh, just just uh, just chat away. It's uh, yeah, why not? That'd be fun. I think it'd be fun because you actually devote. You, you, you know, it's it's not just that you're picking a movie out a minute before. Every every Thursday night, you're doing something weekly. You're actually like, you know, I know what that's like to, 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 to be picking, choosing these movies, you know, and stuff. Yeah, it, it's, you're doing a lot for Chiller Night, and I, and I always appreciate that. So, 
but yeah, we'll have we'll definitely and we'll definitely have Doc on there as well. Doc says I'm just a guy that likes horror movies. Well, you fit in pretty good with us, and that's what we like. So we will have. Maybe we'll get Doc on here. Maybe we'll get Corpus. Maybe we'll have Donald Glute on here next week. Uh, I've talked about the Chiller Night live pre-shows. And also, now this is kind of a neat thing. If you like Chiller Night Theater and you like live shows, just like this one, we have a live Chiller Night Theater episode coming up. It's coming up very quickly. It's coming up on February 7th, Friday. It's a Friday. I don't want to conflict with the, uh, the Chiller Night programming on Saturday night on Stream TV. Uh, but it's on Friday, so it is appropriately titled Jack Shadow's Friday Night Frights. Again, there's a lot going on here, folks. So if, you're, if you're on the, the TV side of it and, 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 and have been knowing me and, and the Chiller Night on TV only, uh, that's kind of why I'm here too, is to, to let you know there's a lot that, that goes on throughout the week uh, under, the, under the mantle of Chiller Night. So I'm, I encourage you to, to hop on and, and take a look at what we're doing and even you know check out the website ChillerNightTheater.com. Uh, I really enjoy doing this. I really do. I've, I've been doing this now since 2008. Um, Corpus says, hey, Tom. Tom says, hey, hey, all right. Corpus says, Friday Night Frights. Doc says, hey, Tom, sup? Oh, and Leroy, all right, our friend from Canada. He is on here as well. Great to have you with us, Leroy. Oh, getting a nice little crowd here. All right, I like it. All right, now what I am about to show you. Oh yeah, uh, the the movie, the next Friday Night Frights is Silent Night, Bloody Night. That'll be hosted by Jack Shadow. You can interact just like you're doing right now. And how can you watch this? If you're watching this right now online, if you're watching this on Facebook and YouTube, it's the same thing. It's the same channel. Uh, Chiller Night Theater Facebook page. And it's multi-stream simultaneously live at the same time on the Chiller Night Theater YouTube channel. So, you know, a lot of ways to well, <laughs> two ways, two ways to watch it. But but, you know, this is all. It's also shared to other Facebook pages as well, as it's streaming. It's streamed live. It's a it's a live. Chiller Night Theater episode. You can interact with Jack Shadow. You can interact with the other viewers. It's a lot of fun. The movie will be Silent Night, Bloody Night. And that will be on February 7th. Again, lots of stuff going on. Lots of stuff going on. And then uh, Leroy says, hey, Horror Fam Jam. Hey, Leroy. <laughs> All right. Glad you could stop in. I get a lot of comments, and then there's a. Uh... All right, everyone's exchanging salutations. Ava says, "Hey, everyone, my phone's acting up and not allowing me to to like comments." Ah, oh, that's no good. All right, so we've done a lot over the uh, over the years, and you know we have a uh, we have a convention that we go to that we we go to in the summer, and that is Gross Fest. And that's actually something that we started doing just last summer. So uh, if you want to, I actually don't have, I'll add that on here for the show on, on Saturday night. But Gross Fest is a, it's a horror, independent horror uh, convention. And it's in Washington, Pennsylvania. And that'll be in July. And I'll have, uh, I'll put up information there. I see Tom Gross on here and is named after, <laughs> after Tom and, and Tim Gross. And of course, Terrence is uh, part of that as well, and their wives and significant others. And uh, Doc Dredd says, what would Jack Shadow's ultimate movie to host if he could pick any? Oh, man, that's a, wow, that's a good question there, Doc. I don't know. That's a, that's a real good one. Uh, it just initially, I'm thinking something either in the, uh, by Universal or Hammer. 
Um, you, you know, and then and then I'd have to mentally sift through all those to to come up with uh, my favorite. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't even know if I could answer that. I can only narrow it down to either universal or horror because I love those movies uh, so much. I will say this though, for a more modern movie that that I really love, I'd have to say, and 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 we just watched this not too too long ago on the on the, the group page was uh, Prince of Darkness, John Carpenter's. There's another thing, Universal uh, Hammer or something from John Carpenter. Uh, Prince of Darkness. I think that'd be fun. Ultimate? I, I can't say that'd be the ultimate movie, but, um, you know, I've kind of got overloaded, you know, trying to think of which one would I pick. I don't know. I don't know. Bride of Frankenstein, maybe? I think that'd be a lot of fun. All right. So, that's a good question. Leroy says, I just got home, too, so glad... I made your show, bro. All right. Well, again, glad to glad to have you. I'm glad you glad you jumped on here. It's kind of like the uh, Saturday night pre-shows, you know. Tonight's episode is a is a little different. Chiller Chat normally has a guest, but tonight I wanted to interact with my viewers, and I kind of wanted to let the TV crew or viewers know uh, what the online uh, what we're doing online, and then maybe vice versa as well. So. See. Oh, another thing we did this year was the Haunted House. The Her Chiller Night Theater presents the Harrisville Haunted House. Uh, I built a haunted house this, this last summer, and uh, I'll most likely do another one, you know. But that's presented by, by you know, me and Chiller, Chiller Night Theater. You know, it's another thing that's under the, under the mantle of all things Chiller Night. Again, very, very busy. There's a lot of things going on, as well as, the, you know, the Chiller Night, Spirit of Halloween. There's a novelette, you know, for young readers. That's out there as well. I encourage you, again, go to ChillerNightTheater.com. There's so much going on. If, you, if, you know, this is, if you're in Venango County, if you're in Butler County, this stuff's local to you in northwest Pennsylvania. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. If you're, if you're a fan of horror or science fiction, paranormal, you know, those of you who are in the paranormal, it's not just entertainment. It's also interviews with, uh, we've, we've done interviews with uh, paranormal investigators. We've gone out on scene with uh, paranormal investigators as well. So, you know, this is something, you know, I, I don't do that as often anymore as I used to because I just, I don't have the time that I used to have, but it's not out of the question. If something came up, where somebody proposed something and it, it seemed uh, intriguing enough to me, I might go out there on the in, in the field and and do a remote uh, interview or uh, broadcast. You never know. I'm not going to say no. And uh, we've got seven minutes left. I can't believe this. This, this goes so quick. Uh, Corpus Christine. Ooh, Prince of Darkness. Yes. <laughs> Leroy says and cheers everyone. Leroy came out. From the beer store. <laughs> All right. Tom says the haunted house was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that was uh it and also I gotta I gotta Pacelli Pizza. You know, they they are actually sponsoring the Friday night frights on February seventh. Uh, they've been a huge, huge help and support for uh Chiller Night Theater and all things Chiller Night in 2019 and they're hitting the ground running and and uh right away they're sponsoring this this first friday night frights of the year so got to give a shout out to vicelli pizza and david long of uh, the the butler pennsylvania store very very much appreciate you guys so uh doc says colonial theater in phoenixville blob fest is showing Carpenter's Apocalypse Trilogy on, Fe on February 2nd. The Thing, Prince of Darkness in the Mouth of Madness. Oh, well, that sounds really cool. Very cool. Jeff Rex says, have you ever seen the movie Phantasm? Oh, yeah, yeah, with the floating ball that drills into people's heads. Yes, good but strange. Yeah, yeah, it's it's one of those surreal, uh, surreal movies, that's for sure. Talks is a good one. 
focuses. Love that movie. Might be able to have that one on the Thursday night watch party. Cool, cool, cool. Well, if you would like to be a guest on on Chiller Chat, uh, contact me. Again, contact me on chillernighttheater.com or contact me on Facebook. Uh, you can even message me on, on, uh, on YouTube. Just get in touch with me. Let me know what it is that you would like to share with the viewers in the, within the topics of horror, paranormal, uh, or science fiction. Every once in a while, I made an exception with professional wrestling uh, because, believe it or not, I was actually able to tie it in. <laughs> I'm creative a little bit, you know, uh, with the, the movie that we were playing that night, like The Masked Superstar, uh, my wrestling uh, hero, which was actually a villain. Uh, you know, we were playing a movie called Doctor of Doom, which was a wrestling movie, a horror wrestling movie. Yes, they make those. And uh, so he was the guest on that night. And it was just a lot of fun. Over the years, we've had a lot of fun doing this stuff. I'd like Chiller Chat. Again, I will be having guests regularly. Uh, there will be nights like this as well. I, I like to have it so um, I'm interacting with, with all of you as well. So, And if you, we, we do this every week, every Saturday night too, 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Facebook and YouTube. So for the pre-show. All right, let's see. If I'm missing any comments, I'm sorry. There's a lot of comments on here, and they're scrolling up. Uh, Glam Fang says, I appreciate this chat tonight, as it took me a while to figure out the different Chiller Night Theater offerings, so a review is always welcome. If I can keep up with it all, does this mean I have a social life now? LOL. Yes, you have a cyber social life. <laughs> chiller, a chiller night cyber social life. That's not easy to say, but it's easy to do. Just jump on Facebook or YouTube, your your medium platform of choice, and uh, <laughs> become welcome to the fold. Of course, you've been with us for a long time, but for those who haven't, uh, hop on here, and, and it's a lot of fun. So, and also, as far as Oh, Ava says, I think I am. I don't see a Jeffrey, but I see people responding to him. You know what, Ava? I get that as well. Sometimes I'm, I'm on here. I know uh, I know Tom sometimes on Saturday nights gets a little frustrated. <laughs> I, I, I say that jokingly, but, uh, you know, sometimes you guys can see the comments. You can see them on your phone or whatever device you're using. But they're not showing up here. I do not see 100% of all the comments. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Uh, if if I'm not seeing them, remember how long it was. It, Bob Bob Books was on here all the time, and we had we came up with the the term uh, Silent Bob. He was on here. He was popping on here every Saturday, but no one knew it. I mean, I didn't know it because I couldn't see his comments. So that does happen. And if that does happen, just just please know that uh, you know I apologize in advance. But I, if, if I'm not reading it, it's because I don't see it. Or it's scrolling up faster than I can keep up with. So, all right. That being said, folks, we are out of time. Holy cow. That was the, about the quickest half hour. This reminds me of our Saturday night pre-shows. So, uh, folks, uh, let me know what you want to see. Let me know if you have a particular person you want me to try to get on here as a guest. I'll do my best if I can. And, uh, you know, send me movie ideas for Chiller Night Theater. Uh, so I'll close this tonight for our Chiller Chat episode of the night. And uh, hope to see you guys on Saturday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Facebook and YouTube for our Chiller Night pre-shows. And hope to see you for the live Jack Shadows Friday Night Frights on Friday, February 7th. Uh, on YouTube and Facebook. So, Doc says, keep it scary, my friends. Corpus says, wow, went by fast. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. So, have a good night. Have a good chiller night. We'll see you next week.
many times do I have to tell you just because something isn't good doesn't mean it's bad? Oh,